Jack 2. I, I skipped out on Tuesday because, yeah, the, the, the Super Metroid run really wrecked me. Rem emotions ran very high. And I've had a very long day today, so we'll uh, see how this goes. Gonna, gonna keep it chill. I th pretty, pretty decent amount into the game. Like I've said, I'm not gonna 100% this one, because that would be a pain in the ass. But I, I don't know how much longer I am. It still feels, honestly, like I'm at, at pretty early in the game, but at the same time, that's how the first one felt to me. Like, I felt like it was just starting, and then uh, they were just like, yep, we're almost at the end, and it's like, oh, okay. I forget how short older games used to be. Like, Mario 3. Mario 3 is, like, super, like, impressive, but, like, the reason it was able to do such impressive stuff is because it was so short. Some of those levels are, like, 12 seconds long. Um, I haven't put the Super Metroid run up onto my archive yet because... For some reason, the first six minutes got false flagged as a Metroid remix song, even though it's just the actual Metroid music, so I've had to appeal that. I don't know. If it if it goes more than a week without hearing from that, I'll probably just um I'll probably just post it with the six minutes muted. Like it sucks, but it's a ten hour stream, so that's not the biggest loss. And yeah, it's, it's just annoying that that can even happen. They, they can false flag it as a, uh, a remix of itself. Really hope that's not a common thing, because it, it's going to get frustrating. The city's on high alert. What the hell did you two do? Us? Yeah, we've been here. Oh, it's this mission. Of course, let's keep going. I think I can do it okay this time. Oof. It's been a, been a bit since I played Jack 2, so I gotta remember the controls. Get in, stupid. Get in! Get in! That's the big thing here. Is, uh... Convincing them to get into the car. Whoops. I went the very wrong way. And while, yeah, I did bump that gun, uh, it doesn't really matter. You get, you get beat regardless in this mission. It's really, really annoying. What can you do? Get out. Get out. Go save the rest of our guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't gotta tell me twice. But you did. Move, move, move. Get in. Get in. There we go. It's only four dudes. So this shouldn't be that hard, but like the fact that you kind of have to like get new cars at least once. Because you get blasted. Look at this. I'm already in like such poor condition. What am I supposed to do about that? I can't like... Like I guess I could learn to dodge their bullets, but it's like annoying. I'm able to keep in better repair by just slamming into the people on the ground, which feels really mean. But it works, so... What can I say? That's what they made the game be. Or actually, I should... Uh, I should switch over this guy. I don't end up blowing up partway through. I had this weird experience. Um, we went to Target yesterday and I saw in their board game section that they had Fireball Island. 
which I already knew that Fireball Island, which is a game from like the 80s that I played as a kid in the 90s, I knew it gotten remade on like Kickstarter, but it was like super expensive. But Atari was like 30 bucks, and I was like, how's that work? Did they just get mass distribution and like cut costs? And apparently, a, a third party company helped them to basically strip down the game so that they could release a, a much simpler version um, to target it. And it's, you know, it's, it's not like super complex, but it's definitely more complex than the original game was. Where in the original game, it was almost Candyland, where it's just like, put, pull a card, move, uh, decide if you want you know, not even deciding stuff. It was basically you just got to the top, grabbed the jewel first, and ran. But now it's like there's other treasures you can get and like other actions you can do. It's, it's pretty cool. I mean, it's the most fun of it. It's like mousetrap. You know, you just you you just drop the marble, watch everybody's pieces fall over. Oh, hey, it's uh, silly fun. That's what I like. Oh boy, I'm on flames. It's not good. <laughs> I don't want to bump in anybody because... <gasps> uh, okay. I was able to survive that bumpage. Okay. There we go, I made it. I'm <laughs> basically an Uber, yeah. Uber for the resistance. But I did it. Cool. First try. And then this playthrough. I was having so much trouble with it last time, but yeah, it only took the one shot this time. Yeah. I don't know, it's also because I wasn't as stressed out, I think. Like, I'm tired, kind of, but like... You know how it is. Sometimes you'll, like, slam your head against a specific mission in a game or whatever, and then you come back, like, a couple days later fresh, and it's like, oh, this was actually all really easy. I was just getting really pissed off. Which, I was. So that, that tracks. Just realizing that it was not that hard. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. That's the thing in Turner and Hooch. He's like trying to solve the murder case, and then like the the lady he's working with, who's like also the love interest, because the uh, whatever like '80s movie. But um, she's just like, what you should do is just like go do something else completely, just like not even related. And then your brain in the background will just work stuff out so that you'll just have an epiphany. And it do it happens. I mean, partially because it's a screenplay and they were going to make it happen regardless, but... Um... But... Yeah, that's, that's true. Sometimes if you're, like, really... I remember somebody was talking about, like, in Link to the Past... What happened, uh, they were like uh, playing it and they were in the like thieves hideout the and they were just like I don't know what to do and they were like the working on it for days back. and then they like the took a break so that they could go die. mow the lawn the for their mom and, so and then they're just like oh, the light and, and then they like <laughs> ran away and left the mower out there to go like do it from reaching the sacred site the shadow will be most grateful he might even ask to see I don't trust this shadow situation we're talking about but here's a Vulcan barrel for that pea shooter of yours. Believe me, you're gonna need it. What? Somebody in my chat just posting emoticons and I can't tell if it's a bot or just someone who has nothing specific to say. Yeah. <laughs> I can't really tell what they posted four that just say crispy and then they they posted like three that are like a muscle arm an angry face and another muscle arm so it looks like he's playing yeah i don't know it's hard to tell also because it's like one of those kind of generic names there have been a lot of bots on twitch lately if you're not a bot ap apologies but like it's just hard to tell sometimes with Twitch. The Turing test is useless. 
on this platform. Whoa. Ow. Where am I? Ah? Where am I going? Oh. oh. Gotta get in, gotta get in the thing. Yes. Got to leave the city. Me there was like, okay, the reference that they're making, which I don't think anybody on stream can hear, is like about people arguing whether or not poem has two syllables because they were trying to use it in a haiku, um, which it does. It's a diphthong, but uh, there was someone on like a voice acting forum who was talking about like, oh, this client was so horrible. They kept trying to tell me that sale has two syllables. It doesn't. And it's like... What are you talking about? It does. How do you say it with one syllable? It's... it's... Yeah, but that's still sale. Like, the O is a different syllable. Say it. <laughs> like... Yeah, it's just, that's a diphthong. You don't have to have another consonant to create a new thing. Sometimes there are two vowel sounds right next to each other creating the separate syllables. No, no, ah. Might not have even needed to do that. I just saw the little, little tab. Get out of here. Get out of here. No, it's a poem. What, saying it wrong? Like, there, there's poem and poem. That's, that's arguable, but like... And that's like just gonna be regional, but... Poem is just wrong. Like, they, it's actively just not correct. That is not, that is not a word. So, Corey, I don't think you have a leg to stand on. You, with, uh, what do you draw with this man? Wax, Corey. Oh my god, I got the taste of that better earlier. He says crown for that. That's like a whole south thing, that's not just me. Mostly. He's here like every couple weeks. Oh, okay, fair. I mean, we've been here the majority of the time. Oh, oh geez. Oh, geez, who are these wiggly guys? These are new. I could probably be using my gun right now, but I'm not, I'm not vibing with it. Give me the, give me the thing. Gun just kind of sucks. It's really hard to use. Uh, well, every other time it's just automatically done the upgrade. Whoa! Oh, it's like an auto. It's like a chain gun. It, it like warms up. Yeah, everything has to have silly si uh, fantasy sci-fi names. Uh, a Vulcan is an alien from Star Trek, so you're lying. Vulcan just comes from, like, Volcano. Which is why the Vulcan homeworld of Vulcan gets destroyed by a Volcano. Yeah. You'd think, right? And then they have, like, all this time to set up and they're just like, uh, nah, we're just not gonna leave. 
for whatever stupid reasons. Although then you can also look at like when Mount St. Helens was happening, like there, he, well there was multiple. Like he was the he was the one that stuck out the longest and ended up getting buried in the eruption. But yeah, full on he's just like, I, there's no way they're lying. They were not lying. That's a, that's the big thing with like with COVID is like there's no big eruptive event that people can point to like yeah it's it happens because like it's just like all happening slowly and mostly invisibly it's just, it's, it's, uh, stupidity just kind of got to trust the people who actually know what they're talking about. I was even in the Walmart earlier today, and I heard two people, one with a mask on, one without, like, talking about why they weren't getting vaccinated. And, like, both of them were like, yeah, I've got, I've tracked COVID home, and it's messed up my family. And it's like, w then get vaccinated. What's wrong with you? <laughs> I do not like these wiggly guys. They are a little too slender and sexy. They make me discomfort. Get it. Ah, don't fall in the soup. It's night crime. Uh, yeah, I guess so. It's not like Spider-Man, where they are like very clear, like, this is technically all one day, or whatever, or like, it's like a couple days, and like, there's clear de delineation between day and night, now it's raining, like, within the story. The game's so good, I can't wait to play it on stream sometime. I want to go back and 100% it for sure, which I'll probably do on stream. want to get Miles Morales. For uh, before the the second one comes out, which looks so cool. Probably uh, they only just announced it. God damn it! This game is like the mechanics are not that hard. It's just like you have so few hits to work with. Like most enemies hit you for like. Two hits, so you got like four at best. And while the health upgrades are less annoying this time, it's like they still need to be more plentiful. It's a hard game for hardcore kids. So you only ever played original Jack and Daxter, right? As like. The main difference with the PSP ports was always that the camera controls would suck because it didn't have a second stick. And that friggin' thumbstick was like a cheese grater. Because it was like, instead of being like rubberized like most of them are now, it was like friggin' like a checkerboard like plastic. That's what, that's how it always was though, you know, like, um... PlayStation eventually came out with decent ones, but like, even the N64 one, which I'm still excited to get, I really hope they made this thumbstick rubberized this time, and like, not easily breakable. Because originally it was just like, a bunch of concentric circles, like a target, out of like, raised plastic. And then there were like, in like, the, the Mario Party games, there were games where you would have to like, spin the stick really fast with your palm. And it was so bad that Nintendo Power was like, Hey, if you like wrecked your palm doing that, uh, give us, send us your address and we'll give you a free Mario glove. To, well, for when you play. So you can play Mario Party with your Mario Party glove. Keep you, keep you good. Or like, um, what was it, in King of Kong, there's like one dude in like one of the competitions who's like, I wear weightlifting gloves because it like, gives me extra grip when I'm doing like the thumbstick and like the the ball the, like rolly ball I need 
probably do that. I should probably get some weightlifting gloves. I've been getting my hands kind of roughed up. I, there was like one specific pair I saw that I desperately wish I'd gotten. It was on clearance, but it was like, it was like, just a little too snug. So I was like, eh, I'll probably see them again. I have not seen them again. I've tried to find them on like Amazon or anything. Nothing. No doing it. Best I can find is like eBay where they're like vintage expensive gloves. Like I'm not. I don't need vintage gloves. The main thing I really liked about them was they had little little loops between the fingers so that you could easily like yank it off with the other hand. They're then doing the like little scooty unravely thing that you gotta do with most gloves. You know? Hmm. That's right, kitty cat paw gloves. When you're on arm day, kitty cat paw socks for leg day. <laughs> Because cats are the most evolved form of life on this planet. Look at how happy they are. Next time you're around a cat, look at how content they are. And if they're not content, think about how you can change yourself to make them more content. It is your duty as an American. What the fuck? They gave me the new gun and then they gave me like no ammo in this entire mission for it. It's all just the ammo for the guns I already had. So I got like two bursts of the new one. God damn it. It really does so much damage. There's no like dodge roll or like block or anything, I don't think. This is like that. Damn it, it's because I can't be dipping in the water a tiny bit. Ah! Which is, like, almost impossible not to do because the platforming still sucks. Now, this game is much less a shooter and more just, like, a tactical resource management game. Feel, it feels... Like a, a lighter, like, Doom 2016 or like Hotline Miami. Where you just have to be like, okay, I'm gonna have exactly this much ammo going in. This is the guys that are gonna spawn. This is when they're gonna spawn. That's the wave. I gotta plan all this out. Oh, 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 okay, that little bit didn't hit me. God damn it. They made like a horse noise and also they throw stuff. That also does two damage each. Fuck off! It's j God damn it! That's the whole thing is that like that kind of platforming section begs to be just like quickly gone through in like a super satisfying like hook hook hook, but it's like you can't. You have to take it super slow and methodical to make sure that you don't like mess up a tiny bit and lose like a quarter of your health it's ridiculous why does the water hurt you that much why does the water even hurt you and now because it didn't do that before what's that oh yeah Mr. A Million.
Yeah, that's a pretty, pretty big assumption. I'm honestly shocked they still exist. They're always, like, super empty, aside from, like, the cafe. I've never seen it, like, nearly packed enough to justify the rent that a place that big would keep spending. Like, that's the thing, it's just so much, it's so, such a huge store in terms of actual, like, space. And, like, it does decent, but like, it would need to be pretty packed pretty often to be making enough sales. I guess they probably still make sales off of, like, online orders and stuff. Right. I don't know. I feel like a lot of people also just go into browse. I remember when I was a kid, we were learning about Japan, and we watched Big Bird Goes to Japan, which is great, by the way. Or at least I remember it being great. Um, there's like a joke where everybody keeps saying Ohio to him, and he's like, why does everybody like Ohio so much? Um, they leave him! He was on a bus tour, and they forgot Big Bird, the guy who was an eight-foot fucking canary. <laughs> I feel like you should be able to see. But, uh, but, uh, they were talking about etiquette in, like, stores and stuff in Japan versus America. And one thing they point out is, like, in America, they have, like, chairs and stuff. Right. But, like, the, the big thing they point out is, like, the etiquette, if you were in Japan, is that if you are standing and looking at a book, um, they won't usually mind, but if you sit down to read the book, the assumption is that you are now going to purchase that book. Like, if you leave without purchasing the one you sat down to read, uh, they will have a bad reputation of you. So you probably could not get away with that for too long. Yeah. God damn it! Ah, ah. Is this man allowed to shoot? Why am I not the only one who shoots? Ah, he, what the fuck is this ammo? <laughs> Weird. And no health? Oh my God. Ah, what the fuck? There was one thing of health like right near the beginning. And then there's been like nothing. This is so ridiculous. No health drop. Jack two, no health drop. Health drop, no Jack two. You need the you need the health drops to get Jack. Be strong. But like the ones who shoot stuff are like ridiculous. Especially if there's like more than one of them trying to dodge two of those while also still getting like other dudes. It's It is some real horse hockey That's what you think Google horse playing hockey. I guarantee you'll find at least one picture of a horse on an ice rink with a stick in its teeth on a heart How is the hockey is only mildly more expensive than soccer. Yeah. Play play street hockey. Mm. 
It would, yeah, those jerseys, man. They're comfortable, though. I had one from, like, a thrift store as a kid. Uh... Horse could play hockey if they can get accepted into the league. But, unfortunately, uh, the Airbud clause that they passed in the 90s, animals are not allowed to play sports. It doesn't say it in the specific sports rules still, but it does say it in the Constitution. A Golden Retriever is not allowed to play basketball or any other sport, and neither is any other animal. I still, it's still the stupidest thing to me. Like, they bring out, the, they literally have the ref bring out the rule book and everything, and he's like, they're right, there's nothing saying a good golden retriever. And it's like, there has to be, this is like school basketball. It's like, there's no rule that's like, they must be at least this height. They must be enrolled at this school or something. Like, they couldn't just bring in like a friggin' like 30 year old, they couldn't bring in Michael Jordan and be like, uh, yeah, he can play basketball. It's like, no, there's rules making it certain that it's gonna be, like, people who can compete at that level without, like, destroying everyone. I still can't believe somebody, somebody... Ow, ooh, ouch. That sounds painful. I just... I still, I, I. I can't imagine the screenwriter for Airbud sitting there in like a dingy apartment. He's he's having trouble, you know, fi like finally making that that new idea, and then he eventually thinks. Wonder if uh wonder if a dog could play basketball. Like would that be allowed? I don't know. Wonder if he actually looked up the rules or if he just assumed they didn't say that. But th did he actually do the research though? What if it actually does say like no dogs no dogs, farm animals or any other creature unbefit to basketball cuz that's how sports rules always are is like mm, if so were it to be the, the basketball because it was written in like the friggin' 30s. What the hell? I mean, that's the thing is sports. It's people love sports so much that there are people with like doctorates who just go into sports statistics. That's what Bill Nye did for a while. He would do like sports statistics for the um for uh, one of the Seattle teams. Yeah, but a sports statistician specifically. So we know how good that, how good sport, but not anything that could, you know, benefit mankind outside of the frivolous play that cost billions. A statistician. I have asked him. I don't think he's gonna go for it because. Uh, mainly because, like, it involves remembering a lot of stuff about sports, and even his own- I've literally asked him, like, who's your favorite player on your favorite team, and he's like, I don't know any of the players. It's like, that's- that's already gonna mark him out for the most part. That's what I'm saying, I don't think- That's like the main thing they focus on in like kindergarten and stuff. Is like memorize. Sorry, I forgot. I, I was in kindergarten for four days. I didn't see what they did in kindergarten. It's like they teach you like colors, numbers, letters, and like that's all memorization stuff. If you remember the colors. Not one day of kindergarten. Yeah, because they're like, oh yeah, this is just like, the kindergarten's nonsense anyways. It is just like, they teach you... They literally just teach you the stuff that your parents probably should have already taught you just hanging out. Like, uh, hey, this is blue. The only thing that is worth for pre-K and stuff is learning to socialize with other people. Who aren't 
Yeah, like socializing outside of the house and like also learning, you know, don't, you know, if you have to use the bathroom or whatever, how to handle that, you know, handling like basic deadlines, kind of. I mean, I guess that's more elementary school that they teach you like deadlines, like do your do your homework on time or we'll, we'll punch your dad. I don't know what they do. I didn't ever finish my homework on time. My policy in school was always if I can't get it done in class, then I don't need to do it. <laughs> that's why I that's why I flunked the tenth grade. I got an A in one class, a class where it was just like, hang out and maybe do a creative thing. And then every other class I got an F. It dropped my GPA down to like a two point something. It didn't even matter anyways, because now I'm a, an actor. I don't need I don't need no degree to act. What are you looking for? Switch controller? I have no idea. No, that was mine. Set up for Jackbox. And then I played Thumper, which is a great game. That game is so good! Uh... Did you play Thumper? Wait. <laughs> what were you thinking of? Whatever Jackbox? Flat around. Yeah, You're that. Right. Thumper is impossible name for Jackbox. Yeah, no. Thumper is like a Cyber Demon Rhythm Hell game. It's so scary. It's like the scariest game I've ever fucking played, but it's so good. Um. But yeah, no, that's like the best Jackbox game we've played in a while. It's the one that feels the most like it could have been like a traditional game. You know? It's good. I'm gonna try and play that with my family. Because it's, it's a concept that I think they'll get. Because it's basically just like password, but with like restrictions. You ever play Password? It's basically that game, but you have one word as a clue. That's pretty much it. Like, you get to say another word as the clue for your word. Pretty not so great. There's also $10,000 Pyramid, which is the same concept, but you can use, you can say everything you want to, you just can't say the word. It's, it's like heads up, basically. But there was, always, there was like celebrities. Those, those games are fun. I like guessing games. 20 Questions is a classic. You remember 20Q? The, like, little LCD game that would, like, 20 questions you, like, uh, Optimator? Yeah, it was, like, a little ball. Yeah. It wasn't very good because it only had, like, so much stuff in it, so if you got too specific... Whereas Occinator, I'm pretty sure, uses, like... God damn it uses, like, the internet and machine learning. Bambalam. Can you pet the dog? Are you petting a dog? Nice. Hmm. Is it, does he have a headset? Uh, I'm not certain. Sure, yeah, because that's the, the big thing, is like the headset needs him, but... I don't know about a heart in the ear. Her. Her. I don't remember. All I know is, is like, what? It was you? Ah. Nice. Oh, 
my god, the old ones. Save an old dog. Is there really no more fucking health past that point? Because I need health the least at that point. Half of the time, I don't even need to pick up the one health drop in this entire area. I'm not going back. There's so much work to go back. <sighs> so much. And it's already take too long just to get over there as it is. Fucking Jack moves like he's in molasses. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Please, can this be the one? Can I fuck in this area already? God, this game is like a slow motion bullet hell. It's so fucking hard. And, like, dodging shit is so difficult, but it's all going so slow. Like, these bullets are lobbed really, really slow. But, they, like, they're, like, really hard to dodge because you also move really slow. <laughs> There's, like, so many of them for how, like, sluggish you are. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Look at that, I don't even need it now either. <sighs> Angi. Angari. What's that noises? You playing game? You watching game? What's that noise? What's on Twitter? Video of the game? Why, why does it sound like a game? What's the music game? Come on, come on, I know they're coming. Oh, okay, I gotta get until that happens. God, just plaster him against the wall. It's so brutal. Yeah, the implication is that you're gonna use this gun the, like, the whole time. Then you barely can. Oh, jeez. Okay. Okay, there's a guy over there. Nothing over there, so let's... Ah, shit! This game could really use, like, a lock. Like, a strafe lock, so that you could, like, keep pointing in one way while running around, or, like, a twin stick thing. But, like, as it is now, it's, like, really difficult to, uh... To use something like this chain gun. I mean, that's what the first movie was. Did you not see that one? Right. Although, you say all of those things like they're bad things. Those, that sounds great. I do appreciate that you get one of these little, uh, beads from even the little guys. No? No. Unfortunately, she's not actually the main character. Yeah. But, like, she's the, the good character. Not like the not, the not like other girls, girl. Yeah. It's That's like, always. At the, at, the, at the coffee store. Yep. Where she's just like, oh, I have something special latte. I want a crazy 
Yeah. He's like, oh no. And she's like, ah, the is that? Is that? Me. And it's no, not like, whatever you want. That's not it. Oh god. What? How? When? Where? Why? We're in the future, Dax. Yeah, it is the future. This horrible place is our world. I don't know. It's it's build a precursor. Is that it? Was that the fucking mission? I just had to get out here and see that? Yeah, what the fuck? All of that just for that fucking reveal that I already knew because it's obvious? What the fuck? This game is really fucking... Fucking... It's so fucking self-indulgent. It thinks city. it's so fucking clever and good and it's like... There's like fun parts, but like goddamn, that's fucking annoying. That looks, this pisses me off. It looks like I can jump over there. And I want to try it, but I also don't have enough health. Should I go for it? I am streaming. All right. All right, guys, let's do it. Nope. Okay, saved it, saved it. It's fine, I finished the mission. Hold on, actually, let me save first just to be sure. Hold on. Okay, let me let me try again. I think we need to right. go back to the city, Jack. Ah, uh, oh. oh, I probably could have made it. Eh, whatever. That's basically just death warping the. Ah, oh, motherfucker! I can't even death warp. They gave me a fucking. They gave me a fucking checkpoint right at the fucking end of this area. They gave me no checkpoints getting here, the but they city. gave me one right at the fucking end. Fuck you. Fuck you. Are you kidding me? They thought I needed to have a checkpoint back here. Not anywhere in the middle of this fucking nightmare fucking thing. Oh my god. Go fuck yourself. Whoever thought that was a good idea. I don't know who fucking designed this sh shit. Between the fucking... The fucking... Uh, levels... Being, like, this entire city being just a fucking ant farm between bullshit like that? Like, what the fuck? I think we need to go back to the city, Jack. I don't even need to know that much. Well, this is much easier going back, at least. God, fucking die already, Jesus fucking Christ. One change, what is this? Ah, fuck. Hold on, hold on. Let's go back to the city. Yeah, I'm fucking actively heading that way, Daxter, you fucking cunt. Do a draw. What are you drawing? Mission who? Yeah. I think we need to go back to the city, Jack. That was very close. Yeah, I fucking know about the city, Daxter. be all the little guys over here, right? No? I guess they don't spawn? Oh, they do, but not until you get to that spot. Okay. Oh, boy. That was an annoying fucking mission. Alright. Let me look at this fucking work thing real quick. Finally, now we get to see the shadow. What do you gotta do around this place to get noticed? 
This area is off limits. Whoops, that actually is my fault. <laughs> For once. So many of these revisions are them just being like, oh, we think it sounds like you're saying Chicago when you say New Deutschland, and it's like, fucking how? You still gotta do it for them. And I'll just fucking, half the time I'll re-upload it and they'll just be, without changing anything, it'll be like, perfect. And it's like, you fucking... They also always give you like, it's like, this one word was wrong, and they give you like, four sentences, and it's like, that's not necessary. <laughs> I'm not even gonna re-record the whole sentence. I will record between a period and a comma, basically. Alright, alright. I will do that on the break, because this one doesn't have a time... time restraint. Shit. God damn it! I've said this before, but the compass thing only works if you have, like, a grid system. If it's, like, an ant farm design like this, where everything like, has specific hallways you have to go down, and, like, everything's through one-way alleyways. The, 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 the little thing on the edge of the map is pointless, because by the time I get over there, I realize I've gone down the wrong branch. It's like, so I have to loop all the way back. I'm not gonna remember what, like, different parts of the city are. They all look the same. Like, the general districts look vaguely different, but, like, this looks the same as anything like 20 feet away from this. Hop. Hop, hop, hop. Aesthetically, city look cool. But I'm playing a video game. Aesthetics are for cowards and non-gamers. Shadows decided it's time to Jesus Christ. Why is that place How long have you been waiting right you? there? There's a powerful energy force at the old house. The metalheads are drawn to it. No kidding. We used to know the guy that lived there. So, you're the new recruit, so keep getting into trouble. Oh my god, the shadow is him. Sa Samosa. Oh, he's got a mustache now. I am known as the shadow, but you may call me Samos. And you are? Jeez, Jack, we went through all that to meet his holiness? Old log in the head, Grandpa Green? Don't you know who we are? Sorry, kid. Never seen you before. And hmm. I never forget a face. Especially one that ugly. So wow. How is this possible? Rude as we heck. Came through the rift. True, though. I into the future, right? Yeah. You used to look older than dirt and uglier than a knotted stump. What gives? Did you get a little nip and tuck while we were gone? Listen, boys. I don't know what kind of. Oh, maybe this isn't the future. I don't have time for this. But the past. Or both. And time is cyclical. Time is a flat circle. A city to save. I'd say the schedule's pretty full. Besides, I haven't gone through any rifts. I hate teleporting. Sure sounds like the old Samos. Right now, I need you to go to Haven Forest. Same old Samos. Metalheads. That forest is my source of power, but I can't protect it much longer. Chase down and destroy all the metalhead scouts you find there. Good luck, and welcome to the fight. What do you mean, welcome to the fight? I'm like 40% through this game. I've been a part of the fight for longer than you have at this point. Category called secrets. Not very secret. Not very secret at all. I think it's just the percentage. Oh. Goatee. 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 No goatee mood. Mirror world. I'm not going to mirror the world. Big head, small head, scrapbook, Vulcan Fury course. Oh, I guess I've unlocked them. Oh, that's. You unlock them from the precursor orbs. That's, yep, he, he no longer has a goatee. Goateeless run, baby! <laughs> Alright, that seems like a good place to take a break, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna be back in just a bit. Don't go anywhere. Don't touch that. Dial. I'll be right back with more Jack 2 in just a bit.
And we're live with Jack and or Dexter. Here we go. Going back out to the mountains. Here we go. Here we go. What's that? What's the, the suspect of what? The fucking hit and hidden run that just happened? Ah. You didn't catch my subscription. My head hurts. I did not drink enough water today. Just too busy doing stuff. That is Coco. This little eyebot, yeah. I mean, they haven't technically revealed her, she's always behind a curtain, but it's like clearly her silhouette, and literally Jack and Dexter look at each other and they just mouth Kira. So that's what I'm saying, is like it feels like either it's being super obvious and that's just like tee hee, or they're setting themselves up for a joke where they're like, it has to be her, and then it's just some other random chick. <laughs> alternate universe, the future, the future in the alternate universe. Although the future, the future in the alternate universe would mean the same to you, because like, because you don't know what the present in the alternate universe was. Like, what was it? There was like an episode of Family Guy where Stewie revealed that he like made a dimensional hopping thing and he like jumps to a dimension where the renaissance like the renaissance never happened so they still they had an extra 100 years of like scientific development so everything's like super super advanced uh there's like a part where Quake Meyer walks out and he's like ah I cut AIDS Whoa, takes a pill. Well, that's done shotgun. with. Right? You got a shield now. That's not a shield, that's the jet board. I'm gonna go Tony Hawk. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I wish it was a shield, but nah, we're just gonna go Tony Hawk it up. Oh. Right, that's all that's over here is just the fucking. Hey guys, why didn't you just make that spot where I got- <laughs> came through the door over here rather than make me walk an extra 10 feet for no reason? Shut up, aesthetic! How about aesthetic? Oh. It's time to wickety winter board. Ah, oh god, I don't like looking at that. It's bright! I ain't talking Will Smith. I certainly am not. That's just how good my core strength is, dude. Was that? No, I need to get five. Is usually <laughs> what that means. Use your jet boy. You got the clear between head of like a bird thing. Wee. Five. Whoa. Ah, uh, I do not remember how to use this. I did a tutorial like three streams ago. Oh sweet, I can go on water. Uh, I think, hold on, what was it? I think it's like L1. Yeah, woo! <laughs> if I want to do flips, it's uh, R1, I'm pretty sure. Oh, get him! I'm trying to get him! Come back, friend! I guess? Wow, they're much larger than that icon made them seem. Because when they were dudes, they were just like full-size dudes. Okay, so these are just like the, the bits in, uh... The other one where you zoom her after the, like, diaper babies. That's nice. This does control a little more like the classic zoomer did, so... This isn't terrible. I certainly have. On this l exact stream. Oh! Oh, shit! Oh, dear god, I choked him out! Oh, that was so violent! <laughs> And I stole his brain gem. 
That was so brutal. Oh my god, that poor man. That poor man. Oh. This feels kind of nice. Just chilling. Gentle musics. Oh, oh. I saw you, you son of a bitch. Woo! Half pipe in the forest, baby! I oh, shit. I'll cut him off. I did not. He did, indeed. Fuck, I can't remember what, what button grinds. Uh, circle, I think. Hold on. Is it circle? Yeah! You don't really have to balance like in Tony Hawk. Like, he moves like he's balancing, but it don't mean anything. Whoa! Oh, he did a little flippy! Oh, jeez. He running. He's running. It's uncomfortable for him. He prefer flapping. Jump! Whoa! Cut him off with the pass. Jesus Christ! It's so cruel. I just gotta find this lovely beast of the wild, this tranquil creature, and rip its fucking trachea out. Shit, egg. Egg, 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 okay. Oh, I'm gonna mark it. Mark my stream. As God is my witness, I shall never go hungry again. Hmm? Lion King? Oh. I was quoting uh, uh, Scarlett O'Hara from Gone with the Wind. But I guess uh, Lion King also said that. Stick with me and you'll never go hungry again! But they did, though. Uh, they did indeed. And less evil than Scarlett O'Hara. She kept slaves. <laughs> he had zero slaves. He just manipulated. Listen, he invoked Nazi imagery, but, like, the hyenas actually had a good reason for wanting to rebel against the lions. The lions were actively putting them in a place where they were starving. What if we did a racism? I think that's... Big Joel has a big thing about that. Like, he has a video where he goes into just, like, how kind of messed up and fashy Lion King's messaging is, and how the circle of life doesn't actually really work out. How I doubt the antelope are gonna care that you know, oh eventually I'll fertilize the grass. It's like yes, but you are eating my butt cheek right now. <laughs> Hell yeah, they did it on Sardonicast because IHG like unironically loves those movies. They're, they uh, I like King Julian. King Julian. <laughs> God, I can't. I don't know. Those movies are very much like a product of that specific time in animation. God damn it. I got just far enough ahead. Wasn't there like a King Julian show? Because I remember he showed up on Penguins of Madagascar some a couple times. Yeah, and like, uh, on Rob Paulson's podcast, he had the guy who plays him. And it's like, he's fucking spot on. He sounds exactly... But that's the thing, is that he's not doing like a Sasha Baron Cohen impression. He's doing a King Julian impression. And character impressions are a lot easier. No, it wasn't I Sasha. Eight. Eight. Like. You know when I was living with fucking my dad's 
Uh, it could have been about then. There's so many eggs. Yeah. So these precursor orbs are just kind of like just for fun in this game, huh? Because they just unlock cheats. I thought they'd unlock like items or something cool. Oh! I don't think I got his his orb. That's probably okay. No, I'm pretty sure when it hits water, it's Maybe. Could be. Sounds right. Like I hope. Whoa! Whoa! There he is! Right over top. Yeah, this mission I like. I like the fucking same with the first game. I like the driving missions a lot. All the zoomer stuff was super like fun. Like it'd be frustrating, but when I messed up, it like felt like I just did the zoomer not so bad. But like, or rather, I didn't do the zoomer good enough. But like in this, it's like all the other missions. It's like it feels like it's not my fault. It feels like it's the fault of the poor controls or like all sorts of other stuff. And that's like the worst feeling in any game when you feel like the game made you mess up and not you yourself just doing poorly. And I know people, uh, even you guys were showing that meme of like Aaron Hansen being like, uh, it's a tutorial or whatever. But it's like, if the tutorial, the way they taught you the game, was not engaging enough for you to remember or notice, yeah, that's also an issue. Like, there are many ways that you can teach someone gradually through experience with video games about your stuff. And same with movies, like... Like, th that's what Show Don't Tell is all about. Like, if you just tell someone, like, this is how you do it, they're gonna forget. Well, I fell down too now. Yep, there it is. But, like... Like, yeah, in movies, or in games, it's like, if you just, like, put a bunch of text on the screen, it's like, well, okay, it's there, I'm not gonna remember it. But then if you put, like, uh, if you, like, actually just show them something interesting that also includes the information, like, they'll, they'll stick with them. Bye. Also listening to Sardonicast talk about the Matrix trilogy, and they, like, they didn't say anything new, but yeah, it's really easy to forget how, like, the first movie was so good, and then both of the sequels are just, like, terrible. Like, uh, IAG was, like, literally they have in quality each time. The, f the last one is a quarter as good as the first one, which is to say, not good at all. They did like the Animatrix, though. So that's kind of... Although, the Animatrix is all just, like, anthology, like, what if this happened in this universe? What if a guy ran so fast he woke up out of the Matrix? What if, uh, that, that annoying kid nobody liked from the second and third movies? Well, how did he get out of the Matrix? Yeah. Just got out of the Matrix. <laughs> I'm gonna do a matrix on this guy. <laughs> uh, I love that meme. Whoop. I have no idea where I'm going. They don't they didn't give me a compass for this part. Ah! All the parts outside the city, they don't give you a compass. Whoop, wait a minute. Egg. Uh, so I'm like... Where's the fucking exit? Oh, I already did that. Cross it. Like, that's. They fucking literally put me through loops chasing that guy, and then they're just like, okay, now get back, stupid. It's like, what? You just drop me. This is like if you fucking just drop somebody off in the middle of nowhere. Like, you were just having a great conversation road trip with them, and then, like, a hundred miles later, you're like, All right, later, bitch! And they're just like, What? I wasn't paying attention to that! You were actively distracting me. Distracting me from my goal of killing the Batman. <laughs> uh, I'm kinda like the Joker. 
Joker. Is this the way to go? It's like daytime now, too. This is where I'm getting stuck. I just don't know where to go from here. Do I... Because I think I dropped down at one point? No. Is this correct? I can't fucking tell. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, wait. This looks promising. That is a wall. Whoa! Shit. No, this is where I was getting all those eggs. One of the, 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 the like, airlocks? That well, over here? What? I have no fucking clue. They just told me to fucking leave, and they didn't point me where to fucking leave! This is bullshit! <sighs> oh, maybe it's here? I couldn't get up this way if I was wicked adventure boarding. Okay, up, I think? I think this is where I came from? Yeah, I was definitely over here earlier. Oh, god damn it. There's like a fucking it's one of these that they've done multiple times now where there's just like a super hidden crack in the wall. Which when you go one way when you're, you know, chasing down a creature that's already going down there, you'd be like, "Oh, okay, yeah, that's there." But then like coming back, it's like designed to trick you. Why the fuck would they do that? Why do they always do shit like that in this game? Or in the last game. It's just bizarre design that's like... Making fun of you or something. I don't get it. Like, what's the... Uh, what's like... What are they trying to do? Secret? Oh, uh, what the fuck? This is the area I was, like, stuck in before, and you can just go right over here and get back to the beginning of the fucking- ah! <sighs> The level design in this game is stupid. I do like these butterflies, so it's not so bad game. Whoa. Oh god, seeing this place in the sunlight. Our coolers talking back there. Blup, blup. Okay, uh, I'm going to run away for half a second to put the pizza in the oven. Hold on. B BRB.
you know what really grinds my gears? When you get the frozen pizza, right? It's got the pepperonis on it. But, like, the, pep the pepperonis will be, like, no kind of spread to them. They'll be, like, all around the edges or, like, all clumped into one corner. So you gotta rearrange all that. And it's like, I'm not here to do that. If I wanted to do that, I'd just make my own pizza. Decontamination complete. I don't know what they could really do about it, because it's like, it's already, like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Camera did not like going down that ramp that's, like, built into the game. Um, but, like, yeah, I don't know. It's already, like, shrink-wrapped. Look at that. Look at that! You can just steal a zoomer and crash into people right in front of a cop and they do not care. The only time they care is if you bump into them specifically. Boy, I wonder what she's saying. I put on subtitles because I want to be able to fucking read what people say. That's, uh, that's so annoying to me. In any game where it's like, there's subtitles, but... If they're not talking in a cutscene, it doesn't count. Well, I can't steal the cop car? That's dumb. What's even the point of this fucking GTA ripoff? Hey, Coco. There was a cosplayer. Who was charged for manslaughter. Who was charged for manslaughter? Yeah. Who did this? Like, who bailed them out? Sure. Uh, sure. Yes. That's, yep, that's the goal. God damn it. it li yeah, literally the rules are... The, the rule is, don't fucking play with guns, first and foremost. Second of all, if you have to be in contact with a gun, assume it's loaded. Even if you're like 99% sure, even if you're 100% sure it's not loaded, literally couldn't even fire, still assume it's loaded, for safety's sake. Yep. Well, that is... Yeah, that's... That's the, the thing. Uh, I... Yeah, that should not be manslaughter. That is murder. It's like, I don't know... They didn't expect it to be loaded. That's literally the problem. You have to. You have to expect it to be loaded. Period. And you're not supposed to point at somebody in any case unless you want to fucking kill them. Never point at anything that you do not want to fill with a bullet. Period. Yep. Like, I do not like guns, but I at least know the basics of just, like, how to deal with one safely if I am in contact with one. It's just murder. It's like, yeah, oh, it was an accident. It's like, yeah, but it was an ac accident due to criminal negligence. Like, I don't know how you can call that manslaughter. Yeah. Imagine the dead friend or their family or all the people who were there who probably would have said, don't do that if they had a chance. Also, they're putting themselves online. Like, they're posting on social media. You can't just, like, not... 
I don't want to be talked about online, but I still want to post online so that you guys can like give me give me some attention. There's not any of the attention I don't want. That's not how it works. If you put if you put yourself online, you are online, and you are at the whims of the public. That's fucking infuriating. I mean, shit. Like, we know, like, unfortunately, within... There's always gonna be fandoms for, like, the worst kind of people. People who are literal serial killers, literal bombers, Curtis Lepore. Somehow, people... Not only... People would find him knowing that he's a rapist and still defend him when they literally, they would just come in to do that. And it's like, why? Why is this the hill you're dying on? Why is it worth it to you? I guess, why is it worth it to you? Mm, probably because you think you're gonna need to defend yourself in a similar way. If I had to assume. Like, that's what they always say, like, oh, what will I do if I'm in that situation? It's like, don't be in that situation. Don't rape people, and you will never be accused of rape. Huey's had a bird in his hair. Now he's got an egg in his hair. Oh, so he is pat. Did is, he is past him? That's what I'm thinking. This is past Jack. That's what I'm saying. Jack doesn't remember shit about his childhood or anything, right? Watch out for guard patrols and defend the I do love this crocodile. He's a good boy. Hey, hold his hand! Hmm. You were never too cool to hold hands with a homie. Do I protect? Why? Why are you attack why are you going after this man boy? Like, why are you going after this child? They don't go after me, and I am literally a, like, known fugitive. Why is the kid a known fugitive? But I wasn't a fugitive yet. Or was I? Why? Why are so many of the fucking missions in this game escort missions? They are universally known as the worst type of gameplay. Why? Why is it the industry, which is now mostly comprised of people who have played a lot of games, still obsessed with doing escort missions? No one has ever liked them! Unless they're like... Unless it's like Ico or something, where like, it's the game. Like Ico or fucking A Plague Tale, where like, escort mission is the mechanic. Hey also, Eme. Eme for the Xbox 360. Which is a terrible game. But Sam. It's probably because they they're having trouble uploading it. And they don't feel like going back. Uh probably because they got the fumble fingers. What the fuck? They arrested that man! <laughs> Oh yeah, friggin' um, oh, I can't remember. There's like an artist. There's one artist who's like the worst about that, where they'll post like five versions of a picture, but there's nothing noticeably different about any of them. And if you ask them, they'll be like, "Yeah, I did the shading like a, a degree like tighter on this one or something." It's like, why? We don't need that deep of variance. I don't like how slowly the they fade away. Look at this, when you kill him, it takes, like, so long for their little dot to, like, fade away. Also, they can come up from behind for some reason? Fuck off. Fuck off. I would not like to go to this Resident Evil village. Excuse me, sir, I'm not here. Ah, my god, get the fuck out of here. Get out of here! You guys are so fucking annoying! God damn it! Get the fuck out of here! Stick with me, kid, and like, it also me. doesn't help that the fucking camera... <sighs> like, if I turn around, I'm gonna lose sight of the fucking kid. Get in, get in the car. We're going driving, guys. 
or mini pet selves car. Yeah, I'll be car. Dog in the car. What sins will he commit? It is one of the heavier cars, which I've realized earlier in an earlier mission is a million times better because like, oh no, I'm slow, but it's like, no matter how fast you go, you're going to take damage. And so the car that can take more damage and still make it within whatever time limit is way better than the like super fast one that's just gonna fucking crumble after like two hits. To the point where I'm like, why would I ever want the fast car? Who's it? Rainbow puppy! Rainbow puppy? Didn't they already have like sprinkles? There's only one kind of polka dot I respect, and that's polka dot man! from the Suicide Squad. They could be on the sewer side. Oh, oh, we're taking him to over here. Why is he allowed to walk by himself? I could pick this guy up. What the fuck? I'm carrying Daxter, who we don't need, but I can't just carry this little fucking kid who's about the same size? Oh, fuck you! This mission is fucking stupid. God. Once again, it's like the first game was ostensibly a platformer and the platforming fucking sucked. This one's ostensibly a shooter and the shooting fucking sucks. Like, why can't they handle their own main mechanics? You would think it is the thing that they would put the most work into. Jeez, I killed a human. Killed a random elf man or whatever. Huh. They're not gelflings. Ah, oh, goddamn it! Oh, he got arrested. First off, it's Jelking. Thank you very much. The Q is the word, word weird letter. It's, it starts with a J. Hey, but kid, also, Gelflings wait. are the ones from the Dark Come Crystal. Back. The Gelflings and the Skeksis. Uh -oh. Which should be pronounced Skeksis, because it's like a peoples. But no, it's the Skeksis. You have a Skeksis, you have multiple Skeksis. I mean, if, yeah, best case scenario, you have no Skeksis. Ah, motherfucker. See, they sneak up behind you. Motherfuckers! This is just like a- This is just a fucking tower defense where you can't set anything up and the tower is moving. As all these uh, escort missions like this are, they're just shitty tower defense. They're good tower defense games. I like Clans vs. Zombies. Mainly because there's multiple towers and like a lot of like resource management you gotta do why can't we just stay in this why did we even get out in that other one i could have dropped it like we get out like fucking five blocks away i can drop him off right at the door there's a road that leads up to the door but no we gotta get out and fucking shoot all the guys game is dumb. This game... Okay, I'll say this game has interesting ideas, but they were all done way better in other games at the time, or not too much later. You know? Like, it's clearly trying to be GTA, but, like, GTA was already around, and was, like, way better at being GTA. <laughs> Oh, 
This series is sloppy. If I had to put it into a word, I'd say sloppy. Oh, fuck off, dude. I can see him on the fucking radar, but I can't fucking shoot him because I'm not going to turn the camera. Because if I turn the camera away from the fucking kid, like, a cop is going to come out of nowhere and just be like, Hey, fuck you, and fucking hit him while I'm not looking. Yeah, I see you fucking camping out, you piece of shit. 5-0 over here. Also, this kid's the slowest motherfucker on the planet. Get some shoes, you'll run faster. What the fuck? Wait a minute. This guy, you're not the science man. The dog don't like him. That guy's evil. I know how movies work. Dog don't like him. Bad dude. have enough eco to keep the metalheads at bay. During my travels in the deep wasteland, I saw some of the bigger ones. Oh yeah, maybe that's what's foreshadowing because you're able to calm him down. He was ugly. I have some valuable information for you. The Shut Baron the fuck up. Conducting an excavation It'll make you more popular. He is still looking for Why am I giving him that voice? Oh, he's peeing! But you might as well go out there and disrupt his operation just in case. Knock down all the scaffolding at the site. That should set I don't know, maybe. We only got to see most of them at the very end of the game. There. For like a brief second. Air train pass? Why do I need an air train? Can't I just... Couldn't you have just given me, like, five bucks for a ticket? It's a train! Ah, yes, what a good icon for it. You guys know you don't have to make such detailed icons, right? You can make them, like, super minimal, so they're actually, like, recognizable. Who the heck are those? Why is it greens? This isn't a train, this is a bus, at best. There's no rails! What's the point? Look at that, it's got two benches! Oh shit! Oh hey, thanks for following, room P. Crowampe. You are follower 97, we're getting close to 100. That's pretty neat. Now, if only, like, I don't know, like, a quarter of y'all actually watched most of the time? I'm kidding, mostly. I was like... I don't know, yeah, I've got almost 100 followers, but I can only end up getting, on most streams, like, up to two? On my, like, um... On my, uh... Uh... Well... On my marathon streams, I'll get like three, four, five, even, but like, most of that is from people who just like the game I'm playing already. <laughs> well, why do all these people follow- oh, okay, I know why most of these people follow me. Most people follow me for the Pokemon run I was doing, which I will continue at some point, I swear. And, um, a bunch of them are following me for Oath, which I have been playing a little bit more again. Gotta do more of that Clockwork Prince thing. I've been having fun with it. Although the, the one guy who always like corrects me on the rules um, after those streams, which I really appreciate. Like especially now that I'm keeping track of them. Just for like, my goal is not to win. My goal is to have the least rules mistakes in a, in using the uh, the robot. Um. Oh, Jesus Christ. I didn't know there was lava in here. But, uh... Yeah, he said there's, like, some new errata coming soon. So, I'm gonna... 
gonna keep an eye out for that first before I go do more. Cables. Oh shit, we're boarding. I didn't even realize we were boarding. Can I, can I shoot them board? Wickedy winter board. No, you can't shoot and board. Help. Grind on the support bases to breaking cables. Oh, I gotta grind on the ropes. I gotcha. But god damn it. No! Fuck you! No! Okay. We gotta break all the support cables. Oh Jesus! Oh, that's probably not good. Oh God! Everything's blowing up. Oh. Fuck you! Oh. Fuck you, dude! Fuck off! On the support bases to I'm an the asshole. Cables. Just body checking me. Not supposed to grind on those then? I hit the grind button. I think they're implying it's supposed to. Or no, am I supposed to go on this rail and get the hooks? Yeah, that's what it is. Okay, I was. Shit! I fucking. God damn it. Oh, fuck you! <laughs> They're just, yeah, they're all throwing like tiny grenades, like a bunch of fucking douchebags. Like a, a bunch of fucking pansy ass bitches. Like a bunch of fucking liver lilied fucking kids. Like a bunch of fucking yellow bellied numptis. Is yellow belly racist? Where's it come from? Why is that such a common phrase then? Because I don't think most people know that lizard. Or... So, presumably those people are cowardly then? Is another, like, stereotype of them? They do be- the eels do be hiding in holes. Oh, I gotta go higher. Ah, fuck. Mm, this is tricky. Shit! Shit! Oh my god, what the fuck am I supposed to do about that? You can't turn quick enough to, like, get away from it, and you can't fucking jump. Like, I guess if I had enough speed, I'd be able to jump across, but... That's so fucking ludicrous. Fuck off! Fucking god, these guys are so fucking infuriating! They'll just be, like, fucking trying to get away, and they'll just fucking shoulder check you. Like an asshole. If you're gonna fuck- if you've got a fucking gun, then shoot me! Don't do this fucking fucking- uh, I'm gonna bump you a little bit. And just fucking stop you. That's so fucking annoying. No, I'm just gonna slap you a little bit. No! Fucking shoot me if you're gonna shoot me! Don't fucking do bullshit! If I'm going out, I'm going out fucking- with a bullet in my face, I guess. I don't know. I am very upset. Listen, man, we we only go out once. You may as well go out about something that you're passionate about, like Jack and Baxter for the PlayStation 2. Oh my God! Why does it take him so fucking long to take his fucking gun out? Jack, quick draw, you motherfucker. Gotta learn. Got listen, if he's gonna live in this dystopian world, he's gotta learn. 
Oh my fucking god! I was literally just trying to turn around! Is there like a quick turn? I don't oh. fucking remember. God, fuck, fuck off! You can't fucking defend yourself when you're on the fucking board! Great, 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 great! Fucking God! Just move, so there's like no tiny corrections. You fucking, if you fucking try and correct it all, you just correct like a full fucking 45 degrees. Ah, fuck off, fuck off. Why the fuck would they try and combine the fucking combat and the jet boarding? It's fucking stupid. I do not need cover fire. I am just a single jack in this in this Daxter. Look at that! Even if I fucking run into them, something will clearly hurt them way more than me. In fucking any other fucking logic, it hurts us both. Oh, the fucking your the, your fucking the board that is touching your feet touched an enemy. That's pain. No. Well, although I guess that's like the fucking video game logic, which is like slowly became less and less like sensical. Where it'd just be like, if you touch an enemy in any way, they hurt you. And then like Mario was like, okay, sure, that makes sense. This whole thing's pretty abstracted. But like now it's like, well, why the fuck are these guys hurting me when I touch them? We're both pretty fucking like bundled up. Like, they're not like sharp or anything. And like it gets just like sillier and sillier. You get the thing, get the thing, come on. Nope, nope, god damn it. Fucking grind, fucking grind on the thing. You son of a bitch. Jack, Jack. God. I am going to see if there are any other missions I can do right now because this is fucking stupid. Check the bazaar. Where is this? Sit. Restart mission or quit game. Great fucking options, guys. I guess I can just try and leave. I don't know, because, like, this is kind of an open world game. But the missions are all, like, in their own isolated areas. So it feels... Like... Feels less, like, open. Yeah, I guess I can just leave. Yeah. This game is hard, but more importantly, this game is dumb. And more importantly than that, this game is racist. Okay, maybe not that one, but it is kind of sexist. Their portrayal of female characters is pretty fucking bad. There's Kira. There, there's Kira, who's like literally just there to help the protagonist. And there's the fucking one lady who's like, um, oh, the sexy badass. I'm wearing super revealing clothing, despite that being completely an antithetical to my personality. Yeah, I don't know what that's all about. Uh, sure. Let's give that a shot. I'm probably not gonna stream for too much longer. It's basically based on when, when a piece is done. Look at this. Look at this. Just steal it right in front of the fucking cop. They don't care. 
they do not care. It's so fucking silly. Oh, there's a green one, like, right here. What's going on? Is that underneath? What is that? Ow. <laughs> okay, that one was my fault. See what I mean? It's when it's like clearly my fault, I don't mind at all, but it's like half the time, dude. Uh, oh, 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 I set something off. And now my car exploded. Oh, I got my jet board. Okay, that's what I'm supposed to do. I got it. Um, can you go? Jack? Why are you going so... Oh, God damn it! right, this is one of those ones where you have to push forward for them to, like, know to move. But because it's like a skateboard, I'm immediately like, oh, you gotta hold X, like in Tony Hawk. You do not hold X like in Tony Hawk. This is incorrect. Okay, this one I think I could do. Nope, again, literally just was saying, oh no, the pizza! Uh, yeah, probably. Go check it if the cheese is, like, mm, browned and delicious. If the cheese is still white, put it in for another, like, three minutes. Cheese can be wet. Mozzarella. <laughs> oh, God. I can't imagine the salt the salt content of doing that. Oh my god, this is fucking stupid too. Look at this, it's just bouncing. What's that? Uh, you... put, like, a cutting board next to the rack, and then you, like, slide it off with a spatula. Put it onto... The white, the big white cutting board. And then leave it to cool. I will deal with it. Leave it to cool. Leave it to beaver. They know how to make dams. Very intelligent boys. See, yeah, these waypoints take forever to disappear after they've actually gone. Like, watch. Watch when I hit it. And it takes like a full like half second before it even starts to fade. Like that's ridiculous. Just fade away. Like just disappear immediately. Why would it be so slow? Uh I mean do we feel like we're holding up to both pieces? Uh let's let's go with the one. Ah, no, no, I bumped the thing. I bumped the thing. Let me get the lantern or whatever thing. I don't know, cargo, I think they called it. This is just like timing. It doesn't feel like it's super restrictive to like time limit, so I think I might be able to get it still. I've been doing pretty sloppy though. I might have to do another shot at it, but. I'm just familiarizing myself with the, uh, whoop, uh with the, uh, layout. I was only, like, five left. I can do five in a minute. That should be too hard. This isn't, like, the, the bloopers in, uh, Mario Sunshine where you're just, like, zipping through as fast as, like, possible. There we go. See, those explode, but they don't hurt you when they explode. Oh, nope. Come on, get it. God, Jack, fucking get it. Thank you. Jesus Christ. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, fuck, how do I get over? Uh, let's restart. Yes, I will restart, and now that I have a better hang of it, I can get it on this try. Uh. 
Ah. It's okay. It's okay. It, it gives you a second. It's less about them exploding, because, like, yeah, that's, that is definitely annoying, but, like, if you have a second before they explode, it's mostly that they bounce you away and, like, mess up your trajectory towards the thing you're actually trying to hit. That's, that's the part that's actually the fucking detriment. Oh, thought I missed that one, but uh, I got the tail end. The hitboxes on them are very weird. It's like I can circle them pretty close, and it takes a bit before they actually like pop. Oh god, these ones are the worst. Ah, okay. As long as I can get it, I can get away from them before they explode. Easy. It's just like actually hitting the thing before I get ping ponged all over. Whoops. Yeah, like that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah, oh, that's not okay. That's okay. Whoop. Ah, dang it. Ah, oh, I almost got that one. There we go. Yeah, we're on track here. I'm, I'm set up better because I'm not, like, stuck on this side of the bridge. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Three more. I got this. I got this, man. Ooh. I got this by the ass. Yes. Okay, two more. 30 seconds. Easy. Oh, I spoke too soon. Okay, okay. I just need to get one more. That's fine. And they're not even moving these ones. No, no, no. I got him. I got him. Get out of there. Get out of there. Oh. <laughs> no worries. Thanks for showing up, Loco and the Skeleton. I'm actually probably going to finish soon. I got to go eat dinner. But, um, yeah, been, been a bit ragey. This time around, I'm, g I'm getting towards the latter part of the story here, so it's it's pretty tricky. Oh boy, ah, uh, should go see what that Angie face is about. Hmm. See, I understand why this area is designed like this now. It's for the boards. Woo! And just like real life, the uh, the skateboarders are the most depressed group in the city. This is a no hover zone. But I do be hovering, so try and stop me. Pig. Alright, let's see. Whoop, wait. There we go. Alright, let's see what he wants. Baron sent his goons to harass me as usual, eh? Well, Careful. you are... A That's smuggler, it. so. Everyone wants a piece of me. Oh, well. Lucky for you, there's plenty to go around. Destroying that cock of your pork. That's more important than you know, eh? I've got a new project going, and I don't need anyone snooping around my shipments. Let's just say, if everything goes as planned, I'm going to corner the market in metalhead trophies. <laughs> anyway, I have another job for you. Oh. An associate of mine, Bruta, Bruta. Me in the forced labor trade. You mean the slave trade? Uh, I prefer freedom. Oh no. Lurkers are the city's local oh, slave. No. Bruta pays me handsomely to help him free lurkers and get them safely out the of the city. The forced labor. Oh, it lifts my it's just like you mean the slave trade? 
I prefer I freedom challenge. Workers, we don't like yeah, workers. I mean, I already knew this guy was a piece of crap, but holy no, shit. <clears throat> yeah, I guess there are slaves in this one. Slavery. Well, you assume that those ropes are to keep the boxers in, but maybe it's to keep uh, the strippers out. I don't know where I was going with that. The stripper match? They might have already. I'm really behind on AEW. Although my uh, sling goes back on next month, so I'll probably, I'll probably watch the last few things. I think I'm like two pay-per-views behind as well. Uh, there's just so much content! They have two shows on TV. That's four hours. They got two shows on YouTube now. That's like at least two more hours. Usually like three to four. And they've got Being the Elite, which is another, like, ten minutes, but, you know. And then they've also got pay-per-views every few months. It's like, I can't. I can't keep up, man. I just don't have time. And it's the kind of thing where you, like, you can't just, like, put it on in the background because it's, like, mostly visuals. <sighs> it's dumb. Okay, whatever. That's me ranting. I, we gotta eat dinner and such. It's getting late, so. Uh, that's gonna be it for tonight. I want to thank you very much for inviting me into your home, computer, tablet, laptop, gaming, console, Roku, Apple TV, however it is you watched today, whether it was in the past, the present, or the future, with the past broadcast tab, or the uh, Twitch archive on YouTube, which is Iggy Kid Twitch Archive, Iggy Kid, one word, Twitch Archive, uh, and my personal channel, Iggy and the Ape, are both linked down below on the browser version. Um, You'll also find my Twitter link down below there. Follow there. Be sure to follow and subscribe to this channel. Use your Twitch Prime sub, which if you have Amazon Prime, link the two accounts. You get a free sub each month. Use it on me. Thanks, because I know you will. That's everything. I'll be playing playing something on Saturday. Maybe some board games. Maybe some more Oath. I don't know. Um, but, uh, yeah. I, some, 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 something. Probably. Maybe maybe I'll finish up Link's Awakening. I'm pretty close to finishing that one up. I don't know. But in any case, thank you very much for watching. And hey, if no one else has told you this, I'll tell you this. You're a good kid. Also, that's a duty pipe back there I just noticed. Gross. Anyways, let's see if there's anyone to raid over to. Hold on. Hold on. Uh. Nope. Nobody I know. Unfortunately. So... Whatever. Thanks for watching, everybody. Goodbye. Have a have a good week. Goodbye. Goodbye.